to be praised. We righteous name, God, yes, because Lord, you God. are the King of kings and you are the oh, Lord of lords. God, we magnify your righteous name, God. We thank you, Lord, for being the Lord of our lives, God. We thank you, God, for being our source and our strength, God. We thank you, Lord, for just being our rock. We thank you, God, for being our healer, God. We thank you, Lord, for being our provider, God. Lord, we thank you, God, for making a way, God. We thank you for being the God of our life, God, meeting every need, God. Sitting in the midst, God, of every situation that is taking place in your sons and your daughters' lives, God. And that you are making a way, God. That you are turning things around, God. That you are lifting the heavy burdens, God. Yes. That you are making a way out of no way, God. Yes. Lord, that you are sitting, God. Yes. And you're never leaving us. Hallelujah. You're holding us. Yes. You're yes. guiding us. Yes. You're speaking yes. to us. You are healing to us. God, we thank you. Thank you, Father. God, we lift your name up, God. We lift your name up, God. And we thank you, Lord, for just who you are, God. Yes. Inside of our lives, God. Thank you, Father. Continue, Lord, to reign over this place, God. Yes. Continue, God, to encourage our hearts and our minds, yes. God. Continue, God, to give us the strength, God. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. God, we give you glory. Thank you, Father. We're asking for our own oxygen mask, God. Come on now. Yes, God. We yes, need you, Lord. Yes, we do, Father. We Lord. desire you, God. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In the midst of the excuses. Mm. In the midst of the ungratefulness. In the midst of the weariness. Come on now. In the midst of whatever we're facing inside of our minds and our hearts and our spirits, God. Yes. However, we are entertaining the enemy, God, in mm. our minds. Yes, Lord. God, we need you. Yes, we do, Father. In the midst of our self-righteousness. Come on now. God, we need you. We need you, Lord. Oh, In the midst of our fears, God, we need you. Yes, we do. In the midst of our pains, God, we need you. Yes. In the midst, God, of our insecurities, God, we need you. Oh, yes, God. So, God, continue, Lord, to have your way, God, in this place, God. Yes. Continue, God, to move, God, however, however you move, God. Yes. Allow your oil, God, to permeate, God. Allow your oil, God, to just drizzle, God, in the name of Jesus. Give us the mist now, God, in the name of Jesus. Every area of our life, God, every decision, God, that is made. God, that you would cover. God, that you would guide. God, that you would strengthen. Yes. God, that you would hold us. God, yes. God that you would guide, guide us and direct us, Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. God. Be glorified. Be glorified, Lord. Be glorified, God. Yeah, Shut up the gossiping tongue, God. Yeah, In yeah. the name of Jesus. In the name of Be Jesus. glorified, Lord. God. Yes, God. And God, we give you glory. Yes, we do, Father. We give you glory. Yes, we do, Lord. Oh, shout out, Lord. You are so worthy. Yes, you are, Lord. You are yes, so worthy. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Despite the, the, the spectators, God. Despite the naysayers, God. Despite those that are saying and doing nothing, God. You get the glory. You get the glory, Lord. Out of everything, God, you get the glory. Yes, you do, Father. Ooh, glory. Posture our hearts, God. Yes, Lord. To love you more, to honor you more, God. To serve you more. Yes, God. Yes, God. And God will give you all the glory. Yeah, I'm about to We'll give you all the praise. Yes, we do, Lord. In Jesus' name. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Oh Lord, Lord, give me you. 
Just take this moment. Just tell the Lord. Just tell the Lord. Just go and talk to him. Thank you for your presence. 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 Thank you for Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless you on this morning. God, we thank you just for who you are. God, we thank you for being our all in all. We thank you for being our life. Yes, God. Thank you for being our joy, our peace. God, we thank you. For your blood, God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, you just continue to have your way. <clears throat> oh, my God. Eric, I know that it may not be easy, but the Spirit of the Lord is saying, I am preparing you for rain. I am preparing you for rain. Jesus. 
I remember back in the early 90s when the Mississippi River flooded its banks. The more the people put the sandbags <coughs> up on the banks to try to keep the river flowing in this direction without over over without going over the rain and the water from the north that flowed into the Mississippi became too great and began to move too rapid. <laughs> Lord says, I am preparing you for rain, but don't try to control because the rain that's coming is going to flood your banks because it's going to be a blessing to those that are connected to you. <clears throat> it's difficult. For this time in this season. Stay out of your own head, says the Lord. But he says, get in mind. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, says the Lord. Let this mind See, I'm, I'm sitting here and asking the Lord, can I just send this to you in a text? And I'm like, well, man, I texted this morning. But the Spirit of the Lord just said, how many confirmations do you need? can't just be speaking to me only. Let's turn to your Bibles to Jeremiah, the first chapter. <laughs> when you have it, say amen. Uh, hey, buddy, how are you? How you doing? <laughs> oh, man. You know, the funny thing was, I was literally praying for you, I think it was. Thursday? Is it Wednesday or Thursday? I was praying for you. You know, it's one thing where the, um, it just as, 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 um, oh Lord, boy, you don't even much know. But just as, <clears throat> just as Jesus said to Peter, he said, the enemy desires to sift you as wheat. He says, but I've prayed for you. So there is a covering that is keeping you. <laughs> there's a cup. Thank you, Lord. There's a covering of grace. So when it gets to those places where it should have happened, but not. God's grace, because somebody is praying for you. <clears throat> the answer you're looking for, champ, is, is there. You're still searching within here. But it's there. It's been there the entire time. So I'm gonna say, just keep searching. I'm like, dude, you don't know me. You're right. I don't. I, I don't know you from a can of paint. As a matter of fact, I forgot what can of paint I used to put on these walls. Cause when I asked for white, it didn't match up. <laughs> so, but what you're searching for, it's right there. Like for real, it's right there. All you got to be willing to say, you know what? Cause it's different. I feel you though. Like that don't look strange. I feel you though. But you have so much peace. Because it's a, honestly, it's a leap of faith. It really is. It's a leap of faith. It's the other way to put it. Ooh, man, that's just bringing right to it. God is so good. Y'all in Jeremiah? 
Amen. 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 Do me a favor. Hold, hold her hand. Hold her hand. Hold her hand. Hold her hand. Hold that thing. Hold it. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Y'all got a good little lock on it because you know y'all business with me, so y'all know how to y'all know y'all know how to make a firm handshake. Stop trying to take my place, says the Lord. You activate what I put in you, says the Lord, and I'm going to take care of the rest. So release it. Release it. Did you release or did she release? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just hang on. Right. Why? Huh? Because the very same issue both of you are struggling with. Is allowing God to be God. God is so good. So Pastor Bailey wrap his arms around the baby. I got you don't worry about it. He say one more thing. I'm gonna in the store. I got you, boo. Not so. I got you. I got you. Let's go to Jeremiah real quick. And we're gonna hit him. We're gonna get on, get out of here. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you. Dude, listen. 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 Listen, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, I almost text you today because I keep hearing the same thing. The Spirit of the Lord is not going to put you in a place of sin. He's not going to put you in a place of sin. Meaning what? He's not going to put you in a place to be tempted beyond. Ooh, Lord. The thing, oh, shout out Woo! Come on, come on. Oh! You hurt your foot. Ah, I feel healing already taking place. Come on, Jesus. What's up, nephew? What's going on? Praise the Lord. He had to work today. Thank God. Thank the Lord. He had to work today. Praise him. Woo! Jesus. You better stop. Okay, my bad. You let go. I apologize. You <laughs> let go, baby. Let go. Let go. So, put it like this. By you falling, I don't mean to be the center of attention. I really don't. But, but hear, me, hear, me, hear me real good, okay? <clears throat> Though it may seem good in the beginning, hear me, so I want y'all to be, I want you to be, I want to be clear with you, okay? So, what I'm dealing with right now, because I see and I understand, so I'm trying to separate my feeling from what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Okay? So I want you, I'm just going to be 100 with you, all right? So, God is not going to put you in a place to be tempted beyond measure. You hear me? So, if God is calling you, give me real quick, take the shoes off, I don't want you to mess up my chair. <clears throat> So, if God is calling you to a high place, right, there's a lifting, okay? But it just don't happen like that overnight, in your case, okay? But, what the enemy want to show us, when God begin to move, make us feel all tingly inside, when we just begin to pour out our tears, be like, God, I don't know what you're doing, I don't know what you're doing in my life, but oh my God. But what the enemy wants to do is distract you. So where you think you're being, a, you're taking a step up, it's going down. You're actually going down. But it looks like you're going up. Because in the moment, the moment of where you thought you've gotten it, he snatches all away. And then it comes back to the place of where God has placed you. See how the enemy breaks you down, but you find yourself on your knees crying out. I'm saying, don't choose what looks good. Choose what God, where God is directed. Ooh, it's right here in the word. Oh, shout out, boo. Ah, oh, glory. Ah, oh, can, can, can let church say amen. amen. Jeremiah 1, my God. Dude, you just don't know. 
Can I, can I be honest with you? So, I, so you see how this blue light shine? You can y'all see this blue light shining over here? Mm -hmm. Huh? No. This is like right in there. Okay, you no, see how this blue light shining right here? Yeah. That was fine. That's, That's perfect. Right here. Light. That's purple. That's purple. Huh? Where's my? Listen. What is in the blue? Okay, calm down. Y'all so wrong. Y'all so wrong. Y'all see this purple light? Yes. How about this? Amen. Everybody see the purple light? <laughs> Everybody see a hint of red in there too? A little bit of pink. Amen. Huh? A little bit of pink. A little bit. Amen. Okay. It's Pass you know what? Yeah, yeah. I'm just serious. Yeah, yeah. I'm just serious. So the thing is, the thing is, is you see you one way. God sees you another way. But the enemy sees you the way you see you, but a lot more glamorous. Understanding the glam is not what's going to keep you there. But the things you do through God will last. Correct me if I'm wrong real quick. Did somebody speak up your life when you was young? Huh? Okay. Okay. But what was spoken over him has been said like two or three times. Two. two. The Spirit of the Lord says, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. So there's just certain things you can fight tooth and nail. Or you can go willingly. It's on you. Jeremiah, let's go. Real quick. We're going to get out of here. God, man, ain't God good? I thank God for a nephew coming in here today. Him and his boo. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus you touch the foot. Heal, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, give patience as they go through the process of healing, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We count it done, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, y'all at Jeremiah? <clears throat> Jeremiah 1. Real quick, we talk about Jeremiah. We pretty much all know who Jeremiah is, right? Jeremiah being the son of, of Hilkiah. It's so funny. Jeremiah being, Jeremiah being a priest at such a young age. So, during the time when Jeremiah being a priest, listen, listen. First off, Jeremiah being a priest at a young age in a time of Josiah. Josiah being the king, being the king over Israel, him being pretty much the last good one, right? But when we look at Jeremiah, Jeremiah being known as the weeping prophet. It was so funny, I was, me and wife was talking last night. And I was talking with, um, and, ooh, like, oh my God, decades ago, me and dad was talking about Jeremiah. You know, he was known as the weeping prophet because he, he was always crying out on behalf of the people. But the people wouldn't listen. I was like, yo, at some point, you just got to stop crying out for these folks. That's just my mind. But Jeremiah, <clears throat> but for me, I was like, nah, weeping prophet, this is probably the doom. I forget, forget your actions. <laughs> It's what you say. <laughs> That's my problem right there. But the people didn't listen. But did that deter Jeremiah? That's the question. When you look at verse 20, he began to wrestle with it. I mean, chapter 20, he began to wrestle with it. But, 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 Jeremiah. Here we go. We're going we to back it on up. Because Jeremiah was in a time of where there was Josiah the good king. Then you had... I can't pronounce it, dude. Um, J J J Komafa, whatever how you pronounce it. J E K O. Look at look at verse two. But anyway, doing him where he did for in his reign of eleven years, he did whatever heck he wanted to do, which was evil in the eyesight of God. Then you had then he reigned of nothing. Then Jeremiah was also still living during the time of. Z Z Z E something something. Look at verse two. Him. Look at, look, look at verse 3. That's his, his name there. But guess what? Everything he did was also evil. Now, wait a minute. But this is the part that got me. I had to back it up a little bit. But when you sit here and look at it, 
there was a kingdom to the north and there was a kingdom to the south. The kingdom to the north was Israel. The kingdom to the south was Judah. So there was, now understand, there were 12 tribes, all being a tribe of uh, Jeremiah, not Jeremiah, but Jacob's kids. Mm -hmm. So you had 10, they called themselves Israel, but then you had Judah and Benjamin that called themselves <laughs> Judah. So, but here, but the king is still evil in whichever kingdom. It didn't even matter, right? But here, we're looking at it, understand this, when you are God's elect, if y'all mind, if I, if, can I use that? When you are God's elect, don't you know that there is an example that you ought to portray? Or you ought to show? That's it. You know what that example is? Anybody know? Your total reliance on who God is. Period. This is where now we were looking at here where Jeremiah is 17 years old. 17. I don't remember when. Well, let me just go here. 17. Let's look, at, look at verse 4 real quick. Look at this. It says, then. Then. Let me hear you say then. Yeah. At this moment, this moment right here was the moment he began to recognize what God has just did. This is Jeremiah, 17 years old, having a conversation with the Lord. He says, then, and the word of the Lord came to me, saying, understanding what? Hmm? Huh? You said something? Oh, okay. Praise the Lord. So understanding... <laughs> Jeremiah, Jeremiah knew it was not a, a delusion. What did he know? He know this is nobody but God. Why? Because, look, I've been a priest since the time I was able to say amen. Look, A.V., quit telling me. Yeah, can you tell your dog quit bossing me around, please? So, <laughs> so he knew. Well, understand, what did John tell us? What Jesus said. Jesus said that my sheep know what? And a stranger, they won't what? Uh -huh. So he already has a connection with God to understand how he sound. Ooh, Jesus. My God. Ooh. I know Pastor Bailey can run with that one. Go ahead on, dog. You can run. I'm going to let you run. I'm going to let you run. <laughs> but look at what he says. Here in 5, he says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Look at this. He said before. This part, I had, I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, sometimes you kind of read, you know, about, yeah, you know, we get that good understanding. But think about this. Let's get a little graphic. Everybody good, all right. Think about this. Why? And I was trying to find Hilkiah's wife. The mother of Jacob. Now, I mean, the, the mother of Jeremiah, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it last night. I couldn't find it. But anyhow, but you mean to tell me during the time of happy time, you mean to tell me when the seed, when the seed of Hilkiah entered the egg, he's saying, I already knew you. Because in the moment when the, when the seed hits the egg, what happened? The baby begins to form. So, I, what is it? Ladies, y'all got to help me out on this one. Oh, excuse me. Mothers, you got to help me out on this one. At the, at the week or two, something has already begun to form. So, God is telling Jeremiah, before your transformation began to happen in the womb, I already knew you. How is that possible? Because... Before the foundations of the world, he already knew each and every one of us. But he was letting Jeremiah know, I have already set you aside. He's already letting you know, and you know, this is the thing that's tripping me out. I got everybody over here, but I have you two over here. And the Spirit of the Lord said, I have already set you two aside. Oh, shut up. Hey, Corey. No offense, nobody. Please understand. It's just what the Spirit is how He showed me. I've already set you aside. The 
this is why you're different. This is why you have so much of an inward struggle. This is why it seems like no one understands what you're saying. It seems like no one can really, really, uh, how do you say it? No one can grasp even the very words when you begin to talk about the things that you've seen, the things that you're trying to understand. It's like they can't. Why? Because God has set you aside. Oh, my Lord, I got the, oh, Jesus. But now look at this. I love this moment because even in this is where God began to show his intimacy with Jeremiah. He began to show, yo, I'm already close to you, closer than what you already think. Don't you know that God is already close to you than what you already think? That's why I tell you, bro, he already down. That's why I tell you, bro, he already down. It does not matter the wrongs that you have done. That's nothing but a trick of the enemy trying to tell you that you can't because you did wrong. No, that's why Jesus went to the cross. Ooh, Jesus. Why? Because God called Jeremiah in a time where Israel would not repent. Glory. <sighs> so, so, so. I throw this chair. You better keep that at your heart. Now. <laughs> and they want no folding ones. Listen, this is not the uh, Montgomery Brawl. All right, praise the Lord. Throw my hat. <laughs> <laughs> then you gonna have all of them ready. Then praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but look, he says, I knew thee. What is he saying? I knew thee. He said, I have already given you the stamp of approval. You ain't got to wait on man's approval. I've already given it to you. Y'all don't forgive me. I'm getting excited because I had to break some stuff off this week. Then I baby. I had to break some stuff off this week. Yeah. And look at it. And when you look at Acts 15, 18, he says, No, not to God are all his works from the beginning of the world. God has already approved him. God has already approved you. That's why I, t I told I told e I told each e I said, dude, God has already approved you. You don't need my approval. He's already done it. And so as you begin to move, look at what he says. And he says, and I sanctify thee. Meaning what? I have already set you apart for the task that I have given you. This is why people can't understand. Because you think different, you move different, you flow different. Woo! It's getting hot here. Do I turn AC on real quick? Is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> so look at six. It's all right, I'm not going to take my time. I'm going to rush through it, but I'm going to take my time at the same time. So look at it. Jeremiah 6. I mean, Jeremiah 1, verse 6. Then said I, this is Jeremiah, he's talking right here. He says, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. Mm -hmm. Question, why do we always look at our own issue and our own circumstance? Why? Can't just tell me why. Mm -hmm. God did not call you and your issue. He did not call you and your circumstance. What did he do? He called you. God, if God called you, don't you think he's good enough, able enough to free you? If God called you, do what? you know what? Let me stop. We have got to understand when we begin to, when God calls us, what do you mean call us? I'm not saying, you know, why don't you go out here and speak to the masses. You already know what the Lord has placed on your life. It's what it is. But God has placed you in a place to be a beacon of light. He's placed you in an area to be a beacon of light. <laughs> he has placed you in a region to be a beacon of light. He has placed you in a country to be a beacon of light. Hosha. Ooh, Glory. God, can I, 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 God, I can't do this because no one would listen to me. God, God, I can't do this because I was not, I was taught not to show any emotions. God, I can't do this because I'm quick tempered. God, I can't do this because I got daddy issues. God, I can't do this because I got mommy issues. 
God, I can't do this because I got family issues. God, I can't do this because they're going to talk about me. God, I can't do this because my family won't understand. God, I can't do this because my phones can't do it. <laughs> God, I can't do this because <laughs> I'm down bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, what the hell was studying? I heard Eric say I'm down bad. I was like, oh, that sounds good. Let's go here. But, but, but God, I can't do this because I don't want to be alone. God, I can't do this because I don't want to be rejected. God, I don't want to do this because my wife or my husband don't understand the calling. God, I, want, I don't want to do this because I'm still holding on to the hurt. God, I, I, I can't do this because I'm still holding on to this unforgiveness. God, I, I can't do this because I'm still holding on to this nobody wants me. God, I'm, I can't do this because I... God, I can't do this because I... God, I can't do this because uh But what, Jeremy, what did God say? He says in five, he says, seven, he says, but the Lord said unto me, say not I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I have sent thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. What did he say? He says, don't say because you was not taught. Don't say because you're quick tempered. Don't say because you got daddy issues. Don't say because you got mommy issues. Don't say because you just have a family drama. Don't say because they're not gonna talk to me. Don't say because I don't have the funds. Don't say because I'm down bad. Don't say because I don't wanna be alone. Don't say because my wife or my husband, they don't understand the call. Don't say because I'm still hurting. Don't say because I'm holding on to unforgiveness. Don't say because nobody wants me. God was letting him know if I have already called you, I have already sanctified you. Meaning what? I have already covered every last base you got. Now it comes to the place. Am I going to release the hurt? Am I going to release the unforgiveness? Am I going to release the being quick tempered? Am I going to release my daddy issues? Am I going to release my mommy issues? Am I going to release my family issues? Am I going to release it? Look at what Isaiah said in 5. Then said Isaiah 6 verse 5 Then said I, woe is me for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Look at it. Then, six, then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues off the altar. Seven, and he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, has that touched, ha this has touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. What is he saying? God said, For every issue, for everything that you think is holding you back, I've already got an answer for it. Question is, are you ready to let it go? Isaiah was ready to let it go. But when you look at <laughs> Look at what Paul says in the second letter to the church of Corinth, chapter 5, verse 17. He says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things, 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse starting at 17. He says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 18. And all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given us, has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Hallelujah. Yes. Did y'all hear that? Repeat that. 19. To wit, 
that God said that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, but imputing, imputing their trespasses upon them and have committed unto, unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. 21. For if he have made, if he had made him to be sent for us, Christ, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. What is he saying? All of these issues and all of these things, because you are in Christ, you're new. Oh, that's old. Why do we take our past? This is what the enemy wants us to do. He wants to take our past and continue to look at our past and work through it into our future. This is my wife's past drink. This is not her future drink. I hope she have a full bottle in the future. <laughs> but everything that we be trying to do is that we're working through the lens of our past. Everything that God has called us to, we're working through the lens of our past. Not seeing it, but we're working through. Oh, well, that's nothing but a trick of the enemy. And I'm almost done. But I love what he says here. In 7, he says, but the Lord, I think I already read this. But the Lord said unto me, say not that I am a child, for thou shalt go, that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I, com I command thee, thou shalt speak. What is he saying? He said, I can't accept your excuses. I can't accept it. It is more of a blessing to be obedient yeah, with your flaws than to be disobedient and stay in them. I love what Pastor T always say. She say, I lead with my flaws. Why, why you lead with your flaws? Because I disarm the enemy. Because he can only use what? Your flaws. If you good, he's gonna use your big headness. If you straight, he's gonna he's gonna use the little spot you got on your shirt. To do what? Anything to keep you yeah. from moving in the direction that God wants you to go in. Mm -hmm. Don't you know? Don't you know your path is already set? But God just wants you to be a vessel. He's already said, hey, listen, it's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry I got to say this. But it's cool. Yeah, you might have messed up. But the enemy want to hold you to the mess up where God wants to cleanse you from it. Ain't that awesome with God? Look at Jeremiah. Hey, he says, and be not afraid of what? Day faces. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. He says, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I had my wife to tell you. I got to a point where I was concerned about what y'all thought about me. And I asked my wife, you know, she asked me. She said, babe, when have you started being concerned about what people think about you? Am I right, honey? That's what you said? And I was like, when did this come about? <laughs> when did this come about? <laughs> Because I spent my young years trying to please people. Mm -hmm. But when I got older and began to understand, <laughs> what can man do to me? But then I found myself, I found myself giving a word that it was, I didn't want to give it because it was so hard. But then I got concerned about, oh yeah, oh yeah. You ask God to take you to the room, he's going to take you to the room. I got concerned with how. I said, oh, Lord. So when I tell you this week has been a freeing for me to a whole nother level. Stop it, mama. You just mean I get to get reckless now. But, <laughs> but the Lord took me straight to Jeremiah. He says, I did not call you to please people. Amen. I called you to please me. It ain't got nothing to do, whatever, come on here, Jesus, whatever decision you got to make, 
It's your decision. Point to yourself and say, it's my decision. It's my, it's my decision. I just hope you decide in the way of the Lord. Period. Because you're going to have to deal with it. Because you're going to have to deal with it. Say it, say it, Pastor <laughs> Say it. Because you're still going to have to deal with it. Did I choose this for me? Or did I choose this because what people thought about me? Come on here, God. Did I, did I choose this because this is the direction that I want to go in? Or did I choose this because this is the direction they want me to go in? Y'all notice one thing that I didn't say? Or did I choose this because this is the direction that God has taken me? Have you ever been faced with a decision? Even, even the holies of holies couldn't understand. Even the worst of the worst couldn't understand. I've had to be faced with one of them decisions. It's like, are you going to choose me? Or are you going to choose man? Because when I choose Christ, it wasn't even what the holies of holies was thinking. Y'all understand when I say the holies of holies? Okay, thank you. Praise the Lord. But it wasn't also what man was thinking. That's the thing that I love about God. Woo! Praise the Lord. I thank God. I didn't get through it, but we're going to get, man, there's one piece I, I wanted to get to, but I, I see we're done. But man, I wanted to get to it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to get to it. Because the thing is, <laughs> since y'all laughing, I'm going to just go ahead and get to it. <laughs> after he said, after he said, be, don't be afraid of their faces, he says, and nine, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. What is he saying? I have equipped you with everything you need. Mm -hmm. Isaiah got touched with some cold. Isaiah got touched with some cold. Ezekiel got touched. Ezekiel got, he had to eat the scroll. Eat the scroll. <laughs> but, if we say, baby, it tastes like honey. <laughs> But he just get a touch. He just got a touch. Why was that so significant out of these three? Because of his age. Meaning what? God knows where you are. He knows what you can handle. And he knows what you can't handle. He knows how the enemy might set you up. And he knows that you're going to listen to God on how he want to place you. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you. When you begin to walk in the full authority of what God has called you to tell you. That's why I thank God for my son. The Bible says the child shall lead them. He says to me, he says, Dad. He says, why are you not walking in your full authority? I said, well, hold on, time out. Chan, first off, who are we talking to here? First, I need you to, mind not, he said it very lovingly, but I took it, hold on, cuz, wait a minute, back up. But he says, Dad, you're not walking in your full authority. <laughs> he said, <laughs> you know, every now and then I thank God that the Lord reminds me that he's still being delivered. <laughs> he says, <laughs> man, forget them bones. <laughs> <laughs> he said, walk in what God has declared. I said, hold on now. He said, first off, I'm the parent. You the child. I tell you. He said, <laughs> well, that's what the Lord says, oh, and the child should lead them. What did he do? He held me accountable. And so he, guess what? Because I told Pastor Bailey. I said, Pastor Bailey, I want to walk from everything. Marriage, take over, the church. I was, I was ready. Yeah, you did. And I was like, Lord, all these other pastors walking away. Why can't I? I ain't still watching. Nothing. Why can't I? Yeah, da 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 da. Don't be no. See, this is what I'm saying, bro. You feel me? I, I feel you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I was there. Ain't there no more. But I was there. I get you. So I, but it's like, hold on. What you rather do? You rather be dealing with the people or trying to please the people or just be obedient to me? I said, but God, listen, I said, but I be hurting folks' feelings. I said, well, look at Jeremiah. I said, what? 
And I was telling my wife last night, even while I was in prayer and while I was studying, the Lord recalled three prophetic words that came. And to the point where one person actually called me and said, every word that you have said has not fallen to the ground. What the heck? And the Lord said, no, I need you in the earth. Yeah. Why? Because I'm not like everybody else. I ain't got time to be trying to tell you. Oh, you <laughs> I ain't got time to try to tell you God's going to bless you with a house. For what? You can't keep the one you got. So understand it. No, what God has anointed you, baby, you can run all day. You're going to keep running back to the same old wall. You keep on. I love you. You know I do, right? You know I do. But it's all right, though. It's all right. You've seen a lot. You've seen a lot. God, we need to get out of here. But I got to get this out. God, I know, I know you're real, but why is this? God, I know, I know you do this, but God, this right here. God, this ain't, it ain't adding up. God, I know what you mean. Yeah, I've been there. Ooh, been there. But you know what I've learned in this week? God, I thank you for how I was brought up. I thank you for what you allow me to see. I thank you. Why? Because it, it becomes a part of my story. God, I thank you for living in a house with no power for 60 days. God, I thank you. Having to run the same bad as you for a long time before I can, you know, the hand me down. God, I thank you. Why? Why? I must thank. Why? Because in every moment, God still showed me who he is. He showed me. Not what I saw. Because I came up in a time where, <laughs> well, I mean, the time is still there. But I came up in a time where you can be laying hands, but then turn around and fornicate. But then you back, lay, I came where you can lay hands, but then you're going out doing X, Y, Z. I came up in a time where it's like, God, this stuff didn't add up. My daughter said to me the other day, she says, Dad, you're a hypocrite. I said, I'm a what? She says, because what you say to me, you're not doing. I said, hold on first off, who is the parent, who the child? <laughs> Y'all remember that? You do as I say, mm, not as but not as I do. Mm. But she said, Dad, you're a hypocrite. Mm. And again, and a child shall leave. Why? Every now and then we need to listen mm -hmm. to what they are saying. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to get out of here. Why is that? Because you know what God has placed in you to do. You still searching? It's cool. Because he said, I'm right there. Let us stand to our feet. Let's get out of here. Any questions, concerns, comments? Oh, yeah. Thank you, honey. I did forget about communion. <sighs> we bless the Lord. We thank God. I hope... Um, I hope uh, everybody is well. Um, man, do we have enough for you? We do. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank God for everybody. Anybody need prayer this morning? First off, do everybody know Jesus? Let me ask that question. Do everybody know Jesus? Oh, God, I just feel like I'm at such a distance from you. And you just want to get closer. I'm struggling with <laughs> I'm struggling at this place in my life NFL I'm gonna be honest with you bro you have literally been on my mind like all week all week <coughs> and I have been wrestling with my own self I'm sorry you know I've adopt, I, I have adopted you as nephew um, I hope you don't mind and Jamal, you have been on my mind. It was so funny because Tabika told me, oh, you're so rough and mean. I said, oh, well, he used to it. <laughs> but you've been on my mind because 
God is trying to elevate you, but you're still looking around you. Understand, in elevation, everybody cannot go. The very thing sometimes that we be holding on to are the very thing that's also keeping us down. So then it gets to a place where we have no frustration, no matter where. I mean, thank you. We have frustration, <laughs> no matter where. Thank you, Pastor T. You're so, so blessed. <laughs> so, let go of the weight and trust God in the process. And I know, nobody in here dots every I and cross every T. Nobody in here always put the comma in the right place. Nobody in here always in their sentence with a period. Y'all get up. No one's perfect. perfect That's what yeah. I'm saying. Okay. So, Father in heaven, Lord God, we just bless you now. You all just take that moment right now and you just begin to talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord for yourself. Father, we just praise you now, God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, dear Lord. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your favor. Just touch your little life. Watch you do our thing. So, Father, we just give you thank yous. We praise you for your grace. God, thank you for what you're doing. God, every burden, Father, we give it to you now in the name of Jesus. God, you continue to have your way. God, illuminate our path that we may see clearly the direction that you have set for us. Oh, <laughs> Glory. Father, you continue to move, Lord God. You continue to have your way. Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus, God, that we don't pick up the spirit of fear, but God, we continue to move in what you have already declared. God, even though we may not uh, like it, or how it may make us feel. But God, keep, God, help us to keep the mind of just being obedient to you. Father, because you call us to serve the people of God, not to please them. So, Father, I pray now, oh God, even if we may seem that we're at a distance from you, God. Father, help us to draw closer to you. God, continue to reveal yourself to us even the more. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Father, we surrender all to you, O God. We give it to you, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for every vessel right now. God, continue to let your anointing fall fresh upon him, O God. In the name of Jesus. Here, go pray for Jamal, please. God, continue to remind us that we're not alone. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. God, for what you have done in our lives, oh God. Father, we know that you are faithful and just to complete it. So God, continue to keep us, oh God, as we continue to walk in your will and your way. In the name of Jesus. Father, touch now from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, oh God. God, let your anointing flow, Father. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we praise you, oh God. We give you glory. We honor you, oh God. Father, give peace now. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Peace, oh God. Mm. Can I can I borrow you real quick? Just peace. Just peace. The funny thing is, the, oh, the uh, baby girl. The funny thing is. You are actually waiting to see God move. Please tell me if I'm wrong. You're waiting to see God move. But you do know that there's a requirement from you, though. See, the thing is, it's not going to change everything that you think is going to change. But it's going to change those things that God needs to remove. Dear, don't you know you're anointed? 
why are you trying to run from the anointing? I said, I don't get it. I don't get it. I know why. I, I see it. I know why. Because you don't want to be like the rest of what you have seen. But I, what I love about God is that he used our trials to make us stronger. You know how many has actually been in your shoes but don't know the way out? You're the gatekeeper for those people. You know what the, the gate the gate is like, yo, here go, dog, let's go. You feel me? Do me a favor. Don't look for your hurt, but look for your healing. Give me a high five, big dog. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Act like, like you want to give me five. You feel me? It's all right. It's all right. I got to tell you, it's all right. When you release it, because understand this, this ain't got nothing to do with mama. I mean, you cool, you know. It ain't got nothing to do with him. It ain't got nothing to do with uh, Jeffro and them. It ain't got yes. nothing to do with Auntie Susie and them. It has everything to do You you are you using this? <coughs> this is you. <coughs> okay, God. I'm waiting to see it. But what, what are you putting forth to see? Habakkuk one, no, three, verse one. He says, "I sat on the mountain, waiting to hear." What the Lord has to say. He sat on the mountain. You sitting on the mountain. You're waiting to see, but your heart is not postured right. Habakkuk's heart was postured right. Again, this has nothing to do with nobody. It has everything to do with you. Oh, girl, please, I see it just as clear as day. If I can paint, I will paint the picture. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Please, if y'all don't mind. Thank you, Lord God. <sighs> Did we say amen? <laughs> Pastor Bailey, can you come here with the... Uh... I just want to tell you what you have to do. I'm going for it. Did you wish for a house? Hmm? Did you wish for a house? I appreciate you. You don't mind praying over the rest of the day. I like the way you put it. I mean, what? You putting it together, you know, don't you? No, 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 it's going to seem like after this, oh, I guess, I hear. No, I want you to pray over first. I don't know what it's going to be like, God, after this, but yes, I hear. Uh, uh, hand it out. I don't know what I'm going to face, God, but yes, I will. I don't know what I have to give up, God, but yes, I hear. Speak to her, God, and show her, God. What you got? Come on, come on, give it to me. I'm going to make mistakes, God, but yes, I hear. I won't always get it right, God, but yes, I do. I may not always know what to say, God, but yes, I do. Show her, God, guide her, strengthen her, and give her the courage to see. Let your peace overshadow her now, God, in the name of Jesus. Allow your favor, God, to overshadow her now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Whatever she's standing in the need of, God, Lord, let her know that you're right there, God. Let her know, God, that you're meeting the needs now, God. Let her know that you've never forsaken her. And you never lose. Mm -hmm. Show her, God. Mm -hmm. Meet her expectation, God. Blow her heart. Yeah, that's so cute. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, that's so cute. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. You're both here, Jesus. 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 Jesus.
my God. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Baba Kyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. a hurt. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, as we prepare our hearts and minds for uh, communion, if uh, those of you that are watching on the line, um, you can uh, go grab you some uh, water and bread or Pepsi and Pepsi and cucumbers, whatever it is. We're gonna, we're just gonna sacrifice it to the Lord. I know that he is a Teshavu. Release it. 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 Release it.
Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Book shot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, book shot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Son set free. It's free indeed. Sound free? Praise the Lord, I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is bursting. It's just a blessing to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I'm free. Jesus. I'm free. Get that boat. Jesus. Pray. Release it. Jesus. I'm free. You get that boat, Sia. No longer. Release it. Get that boat, Sia. Your soul. Release it. Jesus. Catch him. Release it. Jesus. Jesus. Release it. Get that boat, Sia. It's just a blessing. Release it, Jesus. Release it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Release it. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on to it. Mm. Release it. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Release it. In the name of Jesus. Release it. Jesus. Release it. In the name of Jesus. Release it. Yeah. Come on, mama. Release it. 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 It's no longer serving you. It's no longer serving you. My soul is resting. Yes. It's just a blessing yeah. to praise the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. I'm free. Yes, God. I'm free. Praise the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm free. No no more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Pastor Dave. I'm free. Can you bless them? Praise the Lord. Oh, Father God, we thank you right now today, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God. We thank you right now, God, for your spirit being in this place, God. We thank you right now, God, for the liberty, Father God, that you have given us on today, Father God. 
Lord, as we begin, as we, Lord, before we get ready, God, to take communion, God, and as we examine ourselves, God, we just want to say thank you, thank you. for cleansing us, Father God, yes. for all the righteousness, Father God. Yeah. Thank you right now, Father yeah. God, Lord, for delivering us, God, yes. of the things that oh, try to hinder us and have us bound, God. Yes. Lord, we thank you for your redemptive power. Yes. We thank you, God, for sending your son to yes. die on the cross, God, and for shedding his blood for the remission yes. of our sins, God. Oh, Lord, we thank you right thank now, you. God, Lord. We want to oh, praise God. your name on this morning, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, yeah, Lord. we want to give you praise and glory, God. Thank you, God. For you are worthy, yeah, Lord, God. Say. Hallelujah, God. Yes. Lord, you are worthy, God. Thank Hallelujah. You. Oh, yeah, Thank you, God, for breaking the chains, Father yes. God, that had us bound, God. Thank you, God, yes, for delivering God. us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for bringing comfort you, to troubled spirits and troubled thank hearts, God. God. Said, we thank you, God, for comforting us on this yes. morning, God. We thank you, God, for bringing clarity, God, to the minds that have God. confusion yeah, in them on this morning, God. Yes. We thank you, God. Thank you. Hallelujah, yes, Father God, for leading us and guiding us, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we just pray right now, God, Lord, that as we prepare for communion, God, Lord, that you would just remove everything in us, God. Yes. That is not like it's you, Father not God. Like you, Lord. Bless our motives on this morning. Yes. Be pure, God. Hallelujah, yes. God. Yes. Hallelujah, Father God. Bless us, God, to examine ourselves, yes. Father God, Lord. Yes. For we know, God, that we do this in remembrance of you, Father yes. God. In remembrance of your sacrifice, God. Yes. Hallelujah, God. Yes. So, God, as we get ready to take communion, God. Yes. Lord, as you've already moved in this place, God, moving our hearts, God. Hallelujah, God. Circumcise our hearts, Father yes. God, that it be free from anything, God. Hmm. Be free from anything, God, that is not yes. like you, God. And be full of worship, be full of praise, and be full of admiration towards you, God. We just give you praise and glory on this morning. Amen. 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 Received of the Lord. Oh, Jesus. Just take a minute. Let's just examine ourselves. Oh, forgive us. Cleanse us. Thank you, Lord God. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same day when he was betrayed, took bread. Let us break it. Y'all gonna stand up? My bad. Let us, let us rise to our feet. I didn't say that, did I? My bad. I apologize. Look. No. My bad. It's me and Bailey on one court. Praise <laughs> For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he had in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it. Let us break it. And said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us eat together. And after the same manner, he also took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament of my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Let us drink together. As often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. After that, the disciples sang to him, and they all departed. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Mm -hmm. Come on now. 
I just want to thank you, Lord. Yes, God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Book shot. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I just want to. I don't know about you, woo, but he made a way. God, thank you. Thank you, Lord God. We, we praise God. We thank God this morning. Oh. We thank you. We thank God. I don't know about you, but I thank God for his visitation, man. Oh, my God. I don't know about you. Woo, I thank God. So, listen, we thank God for what he has done. Don't forget about Bible study on, on um, Tuesday night. Uh, somebody be waiting on a call because I'm still trying to figure out where we're going with this. Um, so, please, somebody be ready. Um, um, but I thank God. Bible study. Uh, don't forget leadership. Re the leadership um, conference is coming up in October. Um, is there anything else on this? That's it. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you all um, joining us on this morning, and we thank God. For, man, we just I thank God for His presence. Man, I feel light and everything. Huh? Say one time. Oh, yes. Thank you. I love AB. Um, Kim and um, wife will have a procedure on Tuesday. So, matter of fact, we're just going to cancel uh, Bible study on Tuesday because I'm going to be with my boo. Um, um, and so, listen, it is well and it is so. But we're going to pray just because uh, to come. Her, she already know. I come and I walk in it. Doc, you already know what's up. <laughs> hey, you might as well say, I'm the doctor. Why? Because I believe in Dr. Jesus. Come on now. So we thank God for what he is doing um, in her life. And we know, I know that the work is not done yet. Because <laughs> it's just getting started. Oh, glory. So I thank God. So Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for your healing. God, we thank you, Father, that you already have prepared the way. In the name of Jesus. God, you've already regulated the blood. Father, you've already given the doctors the, the right procedures, oh God, the right methods of doing. But God, we thank you now. Father, because it's all in your hands, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So God, cover now, oh God. Heal, deliver, set free, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, let your anointing fall fresh. Oh, and Father, we thank you right now, God, because we only believe what your report is, oh God, because we come to understand that the work is not done yet. And so, Father, we thank you right now. God, we thank you for the process. God, we thank you for wholeness, oh God. God, we thank you. So, Father, I pray that you even begin to calm her nerves, oh God. Father, that you take or that you remove all the anxiety, oh God. Father, where she just rests in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we praise you right now. God, we give you glory. Father, we say this praying down, son. Jesus' name, amen. 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 Mm. Thank you, Lord God. So, Father, we thank you. 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 Everybody just say, if you don't mind, repair to me. Lord, I declare your word over my life. Lord, Lord I, I declare, declare your, your word over my, my life. life. Jesus. Oh, yeah. shout. Glory to God. Father, we thank you now. God, we give you glory and honor. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your unmerited favor. God, we pray now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for your presence. Yes. God, we thank you for removing the weight. Yes, God, we yes. thank you, oh thank God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Father, I pray that your will continue to be done in our lives, oh God. God, continue to keep us as we depart from this place, but never from your presence. 
God, go before us now, God, making the cricket way straight, oh God. Help us to see the clarity of where you're yes. taking us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, give favor, Father, where the front pocket space is always in our favor. And Father, we thank you now, God, we give you glory. Yes. Father, we say this prayer you done, Son, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. We thank you for joining us on the day. You all have a blessed one. We'll see you on Tuesday night, Bob. Wait a minute, no, we cancel Tuesday. So we'll see y'all next Sunday. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Y'all have a blessed one.